Hey guys, Adam Fennig here with Fennig Equipment. You're tuned into the Talking Shed. Hey, today I'm back here in our planter fertilizer corner. As you can see, we've got a huge inventory of banjo fittings and all sorts of fertilizer supplies. I want to talk to you guys today about how to set up a red ball system. Here at Fennig Equipment, we put these red balls on planters, sprayers, uh, liquid applicators, all sorts of things. And I want to walk through the assembly process, how we mount them, how we choose your orifice, how we choose what color ball you have to use, and how you mount these. So today I'm showing you the uh, John Blue system. Uh, we also offer the Wilger red ball system as well. Um, you can be familiar with either one and you can purchase either one. It just depends on what you're doing and, and with your system. So today, for example, we're gonna say that we've got a four row planter. So this four row kit came in together and the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna pull uh, this clip out that holds everything in here. You're gonna pull that out and you're gonna split it in the middle. So you've got an even number on each side. If it were a 12 row, you would have six and six. Today we've got four and four. So you received a gauge and a T with this red ball kit. That gauge and T is going to go in the very center on each side. Okay, just like this. So now we've got our gauge and our T put together. Okay, you guys have heard me talk over the years about getting rid of your manifold on your planter. A lot of people have a manifold that, that distributes from one hose from the pump to several hoses. Uh, I, I like getting rid of those because this right here does the same thing, but in a cleaner fashion. So we've got uh, a hose coming from the pump. It'll plug into a hose barb of our choice out here, depending on our hose size coming from the pump. And then it will distribute out the top of each one of these red balls. So from here up top, we're going to go out to the row. We're going to go out to the, the fertilizer colder, the Keaton seed firmer, whatever it is, we'll have an a line going out there. For today's example, I put a 3 8 airline fitting in there. You may have a hose barb, you may have a quarter inch fitting. It all depends on what we're doing, how many gallon you're putting out. So today, I've got a quarter or a 3 8 airline top going in there. So you've got your red ball uh, kit put together, you've got the gauge in the center. Don't forget to drill out this hole where the gauge is mounted. The way this poly is molded, there is no hole here. So remove the gauge, drill a hole in there. That way you can actually get a reading on the gauge. So from there, we're gonna talk about the check valve. The check valve, or some people call it a no drip or drip stopper, um, it does just that. It's placed roughly 12 inches from your colder or your Keaton seed firmer and whenever you lift up on the end and you lose pressure, this locks and it does not allow any fertilizer to drip out. So you won't be dripping fertilizer as you turn around. So that's one thing it does. The other handy thing that it does is as you quarter turn it off and take it apart, it holds your orifice in there. Your orifice is what does all the metering. It creates the pressure. If you can see, this orifice has got a tiny hole in it. And that hole is corresponding to your gallons per minute per row, which we're going to talk about here in a little bit. So you have to have this check valve. So in sequence, we go from your tank to your pump to your red balls to your check valve. And in your check valve is your orifice. After your check valve, we go directly to your placement point. I get a lot of questions about do our hoses need to be the same length? After your orifice, yes. Before your orifice, no. After it is metered, we want it to be the same length. Before it is metered, it does not have to be. Relatively close, yes, uh, but same length, no. So from there, we've got this. Um, in the kit, whenever you receive from Fennig Equipment, you'll see a white backing plate. What this does is it goes up here and allows you to see your red balls much clearer and much more effectively uh, as they're floating when you're running. From there, we offer two mounting bracket kits. One is our low profile kit that can uh, be mounted. 
you can see on the back here, there's a hole to mount it in. And the other bracket is going to be our big T. And this big T can be mounted anywhere, but it's a nice clean way. You can see the holes up there. Those holes match up with the holes in the red balls. And uh, it's a nice clean way to mount your red ball system. So that's what we're doing today, talking about how to install your red ball or John Blue system from Fennig Equipment.